Before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're trying to 287,000 subscribers by the end of the week. And if you guys enjoy my team content, you're going to find more of it here than anywhere else. But anyway, now let's get on to the video. Lads, lads, lads. Yeah, today is a kind of crazy, kind of crazy old drop right here. A kind of crazy, crazy card drop because, lads, it appears we're getting the first Invincible card. So if you guys don't know, when these cards came out, right before these cards were announced, right here, Andre Kurlenko, James Harden, there was a leak. There was a leak. Some random dude sent a message on Discord, claimed that he was friends with a signed creator who got him, who got them the information, and that the cards were Harden, Andre Kurlenko, and one other card was not Magic Johnson, who was our next card. So then Dark Man of Magic was released. So everyone was like, okay, yeah, the leak is fake. The leak is fake. The leak is fake. Because this guy predicted that there was going to be exactly three cards. And not only predicted, like, this guy, like, legit came out, claimed that he was leaking. He had a leak. And someone had given him the information. And I wonder who it was that passed on the information. Because the only guys that I know that are sign creators are, like, Henry, Jay. And I know for a fact, like, neither of them would. Like, I know genuinely for a fact neither of them would leak specific cards. Like, I know, obviously, Henry's just hyping things up. But I know that he wouldn't leak specific cards if he, like, wasn't given the go-ahead. And I know for a fact they're not given the go-ahead to leak Friday packs. So I wonder who the actual sign creator was. Because I don't know who else is signed for the My Team game mode. Maybe it was a signed park creator that leaked it to his friend or something. Played My Team, but I mean, word got out. But the last player was, in fact, an invincible Shaquille O'Neal. So we're looking right now and we're like, okay, yeah, um, Magic Johnson, leaks fake. Like, it, that's no that's no invincible Shaq. That is not Magic Johnson. That is Magic Johnson. However, lads, we're not done yet. And you guys can see, it's freaking Shaq. It's Shaq. It's freaking Shaq. With the Henry laughing video. Um... JD, JD was the person, someone came into JD's stream with the leak, JD was the first person to break the leak, so he's the person who went and broke the initial leak, someone has leaked Harden Invincible Shaq, aka and Harden are currently 2 for 2, guessing wouldn't be surprised with um, like the first Invincible, obviously they were wrong with Magic, but yeah, they seem to be right with Shaq, um, Kobe or Shaq, 100%, Kobe on where we walk home, yeah, it's literally, it is literally Shaq, they are Shaq shoes, um, so yeah, it literally, like, it seems like we're getting invincible freaking Shaq. And by the way, like, by the time this video is, like, edited and up, invincible Shaq will be confirmed. So, if this video goes up, it's invincible Shaq. Um, or actually, maybe not. It could just be normal, normal to three-point Shaq. So, we're going one of two ways. So, if we look at uh, NBA 2K21, so we got to look at, like, similar cards. So we're going to look at NBA 2K21 Shaquille O'Neal. We're going to look at NBA 2K22 Shaquille O'Neal. Um, and just kind of see what we can kind of expect. So we look at this year's Shaq. Like this year's Shaq came with God tier stats. Like if you give him a three ball, he's essentially an invincible anyway. Except badges wise. Stat wise, if you give this Shaq a three ball... He's basically an invincible. Anyway, like 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 90 lateral, 90 steel, 98 block. Like, they boost him up. What was his warped reality card like last year? Jesus, this was basically an invincible as well. He got shotgun very quick, got slasher dribble style. And not the greatest dribble six in the world. And 48 halves. I could see him being something very similar to this. Man, this card is essentially an invincible. Jesus, we were getting god cards last year. We were legit getting god cards last year. I did not realize how good some of these cards were. I, this is legitimately... He's got perfect Hennessy's. Jesus Christ. This is legit a god card. Man, I forgot how good cards were in the game last year. But, um, does Shaq get a longer... Oh, is Shaq always a 7-7 seven, seven wing span, does he? But, like, yeah, this Shaq right here. What were his sigs? He got quick dribble stop, pro two side to side. And oh, he got Gallo base last year. Oh no, he got Gal did he get Gallo base on this one? No, he didn't. He got just Gallo base on his normal card. I forgot about that. I forgot about Gallo base Shaq. He's not gonna get Gallo base. 
I'm telling you for a fact he's not going to gallop base because I think he's going to get a go card. I think if they give us invincibles today or tomorrow, we're going to be getting go cards earlier than August. Like season nine was the first go card last year. We only got five of them. We're going to be getting at least 10 go cards. We're going to be getting at least 10 go cards this year, and I think Shaq will be one of them. So, yeah, kind of crazy. Like he had 65 halves. How many halves? How many does Dirk have? Like, what they're probably going to give to Shaq is... You can see, they gave Dirk fundamental dribble style. They're going to give Shaq fundamental dribble style. They're going to give Shaq Shaq on very quick. And they're going to give Shaq basically the same stats as Dirk. Except he's going to get... Again, he'll get 65 halves. He's going to get all the defensive ones as well. He's not going to get all the shooting ones. He's probably going to get mostly goal shooting badges. He'll probably get most of the playmaking ones, though. Which would be kind of crazy if he's there with hype drive, hyper drive and quick chain. But the one good thing about Shaq is that even with 99 stamina, he loses stamina very quickly. But, like, don't get me wrong. He's going to be the best center in the game. And even... I'm just going to say this right now. Even if it's not an invincible Shaq, all 2K have to do to the Shaquille O'Neal card right now, if they gave Shaquille O'Neal Shaq release on very quick and a three ball to this card right here and changed nothing else, literally changed nothing else, still give him 20 and give him, say, like the 30 halves that they're going to give to a Dark Matter right now. Still the best card in the game. Still the best, sorry, still the best center in the game. But Shaq just has them big screens. He has the rebounds. The only issue, again, with Shaq is that his stamina is going to go to zero very quickly. But just run a third center. If you're playing unlimited, just run a third center. Literally, if you want to have a third center, run like a freaking Larry Hughes. Or like, not Larry Hughes. Larry Sanders, end of the bench, play him two minutes a game to get Shaq a bit of a burn. Like, that's all you have. Like, that's all you have to do. And it kind of solves the stamina issue with Shaq because... Like, even Shaq on very quick is going to be so greenable this year. Like, Shaq's freaking green. Shaq on normal timing was greenable from the corners. I mean, it's 55 rating. Like, 86 perimeter, 90 steel. Lads. Like, even if this isn't an invincible, it makes no odds. It makes no odds because he's getting base or fundamental anyway. It doesn't matter. Base, fundamental. The way my team is right now, it really doesn't matter which one you're going to be getting out of those two. He still has the freaking Kobe escape. The one thing is that he can't burst out of Kobe escape with base. He can't fundamental. He's got still all of his dunk packages, all of his layup packages. Like Shaq, this Shaq was brilliant. And now this Shaq is going to have a bumped up three ball. So even if we don't see an invincible Shaq, we're going to see something very similar to the Warp Reality Shaq, who's going to be a ridiculously good card at this stage in the game. Like the only way, like actually no, Yao, Yao might be better. Yao Ming might be a better center. But Shaq's going to get freaking... But like, even if Shaq, again, doesn't get an invincible card, he has 95 speed. Because this card is 95. So, like... Man, I'm... I don't know. I don't know. He's going to be insane, lads. He's going to be absolutely, absolutely insane. So, yeah. um, You guys might... Well, you guys are going to see this video, and it might just be dot, 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 invincible Shaq. Um... I don't even know what way I'm going to, uh, what way I'm going to title this video. And if it turns out just to be Dark Matter Shack, and you have clicked on this video and it said the title said Invincible Shack, heck, the title will have, title of this video will have changed. There's no guarantee of it being Invincible and not being Invincible. But um, if it's Invincible Shack, madness. If it is Invincible Shack, absolute madness. If it's a just three point shooting Shack, you know what? Absolute madness as well, which is hilarious, which is mad. If it's just an Invincible. Or just the power within with a boost of the three ball and some extra hops and some hop shooting badges. He's still going to be the 1A, 1B with Yao Ming. Better than Chris Tapps, better than Kareem. He's going to be the 1A, 1B. So anyway, yeah. That is pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.